Greetings, critical viewers, and welcome to a game called Bunker 16. We're doing it for One Shot Friday. It's a new indie horror game. It's free. The download link is in the description. I've heard it's really good. Start new game. Hey, guys, it's John, and today we are replaying a classic free indie horror game called Bunker 16. Now, I haven't played this game in almost five years. It was developed by Free08 Games, who went on to make another game called Like Clay that I also played on the channel. Uh, I remember this one being pretty scary, and since we've been replaying older games all weekend long as part of the 500,000 subs celebration, some people don't get that it's part of a celebration. Some people think I just ran out of ideas, but replaying old games five years later is an idea, okay? A lot better idea than just, I don't know, let's see what's on Ichio. Uh, what about this one? That's usually what the idea is. Okay, I'm, instead of getting all defensive about that, I'm gonna go ahead and start a new game. Let's do this. Introduction. Your name is Peter Reed. You fled a thunderstorm and took shelter in an abandoned bunker. As soon as you were inside, the door closed behind you. You have your headlamp with you, some food, and some water. Your goal. Find a way out of the bunker. Hint. Batteries don't last forever. <laughs> some parental advice there. Make sure to read all the notes. To open doors, you have to first open the handle and then open the door itself. Alright. I'm sure I'll figure out what that means. Here's the thunderstorm. It's raining cats and dogs out there. I never understood why that was a joke. Or like, an interesting thing to say. And yet I still said it. Oh! Here we are. Hmm. We're inside the bunker. And now we can't get out. Okay. Bunker 16, let's do this. We are either super tall, or the ceiling is really low. Maybe a combination of both. Okay. Open the handle, then open the door. Got it. Hmm. This game is really... Claustrophobic. Look at these narrow hallways. Found a note? Diary of George Walker, evening of November 1st. I fled a thunderstorm. It didn't say thunder. I fled a storm and took shelter in this abandoned bunker. Isn't every storm a thunderstorm really though? Does it ever really just rain? I guess sometimes. As soon as I was inside, the door closed behind me. Now I can't open it. The door must have locked automatically when it closed. There's a keyhole in the door, but of course, no key. End of entry for George. Is that coffee? Where'd you get it from? I want some coffee. Okay, here we are. George Walker again, the same evening. Two separate diary entries. Damn. I am supposed to attend a conf call at 10 p.m. I need to find a way out of here. Let's hope there is an emergency exit or a window that is large enough. A huge thank you to whoever invented the flashlight and batteries. Let's hope this place is not too big. Uh, hate to break the news to you, George. I don't think you're gonna make that conf call. Which, I worked in an office for years and we never called it a conf call. We always said the full thing, conference call. Or we just say, we have a meeting. More coffee. Imagine standing in this closet drinking coffee, and then you're like, I'm done with this crap. Walking right out. Or right here, for that matter. People are so messy. There's a sink right here, just dump it out. You even got a bucket, a little trash bin. People are disgusting. Where to install the fuse? So kitchen or kitchen and mess, Office, bedroom, ammunition dump, entrance storage, and hallway. Okay, so it's in kitchen right now. Okay, we'll leave it on the in the kitchen for now. What was that? What was that all about? Wow, there's just coffee everywhere. 
Near midnight, November 1st. This is a little after the other notes. There's no emergency exit and there are no windows. That would have been far too easy, wouldn't it? I have to start searching for the key to unlock the main door. Okay, so we're following along in George's footsteps. So far, we're reaching the same conclusions that he has. Okay, this goes down. Okay, I've now searched for an hour or two, but I haven't found the key yet. If I had a wrench, I could maybe remove the screws on the main door. Of course, I do not have a wrench with me. Who takes a wrench on a hike, right? A psychopath, maybe. Just in case they need a blunt object. <laughs> but yeah, no normal person. I assume you're normal, George. I don't know. I don't really know much about you yet. Don't quite trust you. I have no watch, but I assume that it is now almost midnight. Well, you've been making that assumption for a while now, George, to be fair. I have missed the conf call. Damn. <laughs> I am dead tired. I saw a couple of beds in one of the room. I'll take a nap there and continue searching for the key once I wake up. You can do that, George. We're not doing that. No thanks. Ah, oh, but you missed the conf call. It says bandages. Good thing it clarified what it was. Uh, and this is the entrance. Okay. So we made a big circle. I think we've explored every... Where we can go in the bunker. I might be wrong. So, I assume this is the bedroom. Something in the lockers, looks like. Press E to take a nap. Yeah, okay. Let's do it. Are we okay? Dude, you snore. I snore too. It's okay. Sleep on your side. That helps a lot. I heard a door shut. I heard footsteps. Hmm. Seems we're not loading in the bunker. What? Is that a new note? Diary of George Walker. When I awoke, I heard noises coming from outside my room. I hoped that maybe someone had opened the main door and entered the bunker. As soon as I went outside my room, the noises were gone. The main door is still closed and there's no one around. That's exactly what we experienced. Is there a new note? Wait. Oh. I got confused about where I was. I just realized that some of the crates are not in the same place as they were yesterday. It looks like someone has searched them. Did someone enter the bunker while I was sleeping? Could they be still here? If so, why are they so quiet? Are they hiding from me? I arm myself with a steel pipe and tell them to show themselves. So we're, we're following along the story of George. Unless George is us, and he's writing those notes ahead of time, which I don't. Heard a growl. Of course I didn't get an answer. Therefore I went ahead and searched through the bunker again. There are not that many places where a person could be hiding in here, but I couldn't find anyone. Is it possible that they were leaving the bunker just when I woke up? I don't know, but I heard a disgruntled person. Handle is jammed. Hmm. Maybe that's where they're hiding. What? There's nothing in the drawers ever. Since I couldn't find anyone, I decided to wait near the entrance for them to return. Armed with my steel pipe, I am now sitting on the concrete floor. To save on battery power, I have put the last remaining fuse into the slot for the entrance and switched the light on. 
I heard something else. Okay. Let's go to the fuse then. Which, that's not back here. I think it's this way, to the left. Hmm. I waited for like three hours near the entrance, nothing has happened. All I could hear was the sound of the rain. While I was waiting, I started to wonder what they were doing in here. Were they looking for something? Is there something of value in here? I'll now get up and search the bunker again. Maybe I missed something. Okay. Fuse box or... Nothing. There's nothing of value in here. Just empty crates and barrels. There's no key either. I guess there's nothing to do but wait until they return. I hope they're not criminals. What if they were hiding something in here and now that they have picked it up, they won't come back? Well, wouldn't that be great? Huh? This Oh. Bad gas. I got a key. Hallway? Oh, entrance. Put the power near the entrance. What's going on? Hmm. What? Where? I remember going in this place. There's a note on the bathroom door. There's no one there, so put your wine in. I'm sitting on the floor near the entrance again. I inspected the main door, but there's no way I'll ever be able to open it by myself without the key. We have the key! In my head, I'm going through the options that I have. Unfortunately, there are not that many. In fact, there's only two. Either someone opens the door from the outside, or I will die of thirst in here. You got pipes? Oh, they probably don't carry water, though. Fair point. Okay, we made, we made a full lap, but we found the key. What did we find the key to, though? We found the key to something. What was locked? What? I didn't read this. I have spent half an hour pounding on the front door with my steel pipe. Maybe someone heard me. I managed to stay calm so far. I hope I'll be able to keep this up. I have only very little water and food left, and none of the water taps are working. Did I just hear someone whisper my name? I hope not. I hope not. Oh! <laughs> That's new. Someone's a little fool of themselves. I think I'll put my face on this 50 times. <laughs> Here we go. If you stare into the shadows for too long, your mind will start playing tricks on you. Th that is exactly what's happened to me right now. I see movements in the shadows. I need to get some sleep. I will leave the dorm I will leave the dorm door open just in case they come back. Even if it's thieves, it can't be worse than dying here. You're gonna leave it open. You idiot. You deserve to die. Fine. So, dorm door is open. By the way, is the... I put the fuse in the entrance 
hallway area, but it, it's not on. You need to take a nap. Let's go ahead and take it. What are we gonna hear this time? So I heard some scraping, and then it sounded like breathing. Like something was watching me sleep. Maybe it's in love with me. I didn't sleep well. I was awakened by the sound of something heavy being moved. It sounded as if a shelf or a heavy rock was pulled over concrete. I ran out of the dorm room, but as soon as I was outside, the noise was gone again. We left the dorm door open too. What? Why is there a wall here? There was no wall here yesterday. This is not possible. But this is a solid concrete wall. There used to be a hallway followed by a storage area here. Now both are gone. Where am I? What is going on here? Oh no. What is going on here? The layout of the whole bunker has changed overnight. The kitchen used to be downstairs, but now it is to the left of the entrance. All the loopholes are gone and the restroom is now directly behind the kitchen. Am I losing my mind? This can't be. It's just... It's impossible! Sound like an anime character. This cannot be! It's... It's impossible! There's n no way! Oh. <laughs> What's up, dude? <laughs> Heard you growling. You grumpy? Is that why you're drinking coffee all the time? For a moment, I thought this was perhaps just a dream. I slapped myself in the face a couple times, but that didn't help. I'm still here. This is really happening. What is this place? I hear someone walking around. I have to hide. Where? The main door is where it used to be, but of course it is still locked. It feels as if the hallways got even narrower and the ceiling is even lower. All of a sudden the air smells stale. Did the ventilation system stop working? Is it possible to suffocate in here? My heart is racing, I am sweating, and my hands are shaking. This is getting too much. Am I having a heart attack? No. Is your arm feeling weak? Here's the restroom. I'm still here. I feel a little better, although my hands are still shaking. I have to get out of here now. I have tried to loosen the screws on the front door with my bare hands. Now I am bleeding and my hands are raw. Well, that's what you get, dipshit. I turned around when I heard someone whisper my name behind me, but there was no one there. What's with this name whispering bullshit? The power of Christ compels you. Get out of here. So I used to be a copywriter when I worked in advertising, which meant that I wrote ads. I didn't work in copyright law. It's a different thing. And uh, one time I wrote this radio ad for coffee and uh, the tagline was, the power of price compels you. And it was an exorcism scene, <laughs> but they were using coffee as holy water. It was. I had the whole room laughing, that's all I can say, but it didn't get made, for obvious reasons. I am not alone in here, I never was. I hear disturbing sounds, whispering in the dark. The voices are getting louder now. I sweat heavily. I should drink more, but there's no water left. I gasp for air. It feels like I'm climbing a mountain and then the air, oh, and the air becomes thinner with each step. Yeah, that's one of my favorite radio spots I ever wrote. Like. Everyone lost it when I read the tagline. Oh well. 
But you can imagine how a big corporation would be like, oh, what the hell? A, a, a radio ad with an exorcism in it. <laughs> um, that seems a little risky. There's this picture with the imprint, Gott mit uns. Neither do I believe in God, nor do I believe in ghosts, but I swear that when I approached that picture, I saw a face in it, just for a fraction of a second, but it was there. What is this place? Who is the person in the picture? Where do those voices come from? I am tired. Where? I... I saw it, for a fraction of a second. But that's why I like what I do full time now. I can just do whatever I want. I don't need anyone's approval. I can just say, hey, I'm gonna play Bunker 16 again. And there's no corporate overlord like, uh -huh, are you sure about that? So it seems a little risky. I don't know why I always raise their arms up. It's like, I just imagine that they're sweating from their armpits, from like the sheer idea of taking a risk. Oh no, <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I think the first time I played this, I was way back here when I saw it and it was a little scarier because I could barely see it. I don't think I was that close last time. It's a shame I was a little closer that time. It's better when you can see less of it. Okay. Hmm. So we've... We've gone all the way around. I wonder... I wonder if I'm supposed to, like, take a nap again? Do we take a nap again? No way. <sighs> Find us at Freddy's? I'll shine my flashlight on him. I fell asleep again. In my dreams, I saw myself sitting in a room, and the walls. The walls were moving. The room was getting smaller and smaller. I woke up sweating and screaming, gasping for air. I feel weak now. I ran out of water and food. I hear someone screaming. Again! <laughs> like the idea that he's just like, ugh! Again! Oh my god. Someone crying again. <laughs> The main door is gone. It was always right here, but now it is gone. Why is this happening to me? Am I being punished for something that I've done in the past? There's no way out. I will die in this hole. Sometime in November is what the date says now. Lost all sense of time. I don't know why I'm always checking these. Just in case. I stumbled around aimlessly. Those ugly pictures, now there are more of them. Are they trying to tell me something? I do not understand. <gasps> His face is on the wall.
What? What was that? We gotta go this way. Sound like it came from that way, but I'm gonna check this way real quick. Okay, there's nothing here. Flashlight just turned off. jammed. And we're back? Okay. Then let's go back to that hallway that I haven't uncovered yet. It's back this way. Should be left and then right. Right here. I did hear something open. A key is required. I don't remember that last time. Picked up the key. There's an ugly statue-like thing in one of the rooms. It was not here yesterday. It looks as if someone had poured liquid concrete on a person and then let it dry. The statue is holding a key. Is it offering it to me? Is this the key of the main door? But the main door is gone. Is this a joke? When I picked up the key, the statue whispered, Calm Zumir, join me. So there's a syringe. I can either inject myself with morphine, which I think I did last time. Or, I think there's a different... There's a different ending. Because I, I remember there are two endings to this game. And when I first played it, I only got the one. So I don't know. Are the heads making that noise? I think they are. Hmm. Okay. I'm looking around. Because I think there's a different way to end the game than how I ended it last time. But I don't know what or where. We can open this now. The key opened the lock of a chest. In this chest I found a syringe. Morphine. I am pretty sure that this could kill me. Is this the only way out of here? Isn't this better than dying of thirst? The floor in one of the rooms is unfinished. We will dig a hole there and then force the bitch to sit in it. Then fill it up with concrete. She screamed like a little girl. We had to break her legs to make her sit still. Once she swallowed liquid concrete, she became silent. Hmm. Hmm. Press E to destroy. <laughs> the souls of those who die in this concrete grave shall never leave and never find peace. Instead, they shall become a part of this place. Their soul shall be the mortar and their twisted minds the architect. What? I don't remember this. That explains it though, the concrete walls. People are in the walls. Can I destroy any, any more? Proceed to take a nap. Huh, okay. What next? Oh. Okay.
Uh-oh. I'm gonna get crushed. Now this happened last time. Is there a way out? No. All right, all right. You're close enough. Character's kind of freaking out. Uh-oh. Am I gonna get buried in the concrete? And become a part of this place? Trapped in the walls? For the next person? Who unwittingly comes into this bunker? Are we, did we suffocate? No, it was just a dream. Okay, cool. No, that's good. That's good. Then we can die of thirst instead. Hooray! <laughs> nope. Hmm, okay. Actually, seems like it's normal. More of those heads are still there. Okay, you don't need to tell me twice. Does this open the main door? No way. You can actually leave. You escaped the bunker. Bunker 16. Okay, well actually, I didn't get that ending before, so that was kind of new to me a little bit. Does Bunker 16 hold up? I think so. I have a lot to say about it. So, okay. That was Bunker 16, created by uh, Free Awake Games, or Cyril O. Who, as I said in the beginning of the video, also made Like Clay which is a bit longer and a bit different from this one, but it shares a lot of the same characteristics. I think there are several things this game does really well. One of them is sound design. Uh, yesterday I replayed Phobia 1.5 and I said in that video that the music and the soundtrack choice really carries the game. And uh, some of the sound effects as well. But I think in this one, it's really the sound design that amplifies the game's horror. This game also slowly builds to the climax very well. As you play through the game, uh, the map itself, the bunker, becomes more claustrophobic. It becomes tighter. The hallways become narrower. Uh, you have pathways cut off. It feels like the walls are closing in on you. And in the ending I just got, that literally happened in the dream sequence. So it becomes increasingly claustrophobic. You know, heads start popping up out of the walls. You start hearing more voices. It builds the tension to a breaking point, to a fever pitch. I've always wanted to say that. A fever pitch, I never get to say that in real life. But I think between the slowly building tension and the sound design, I think this game, it could work even without the creepy bald thing popping up a couple times. Even though I really like the sequence where it's underneath the covers, you know, like in The Ring. At least that's what I always think of. That that that's a cool sequence, but I think the head popping up at the last second and like, it, that has aged a little poorly <laughs> over five years. And like I said, when you see it in the hallway, I was a little too close this time. It's much more effective when you're further away. So I think maybe with a little bit of fine tuning, they could make it to where you can't be that close to it when it happens. I think that would have been better. The less you see, the better. And the game's very good at not showing you a whole lot until the very end. Usually a good rule to follow with games, movies, just storytelling in general is show, don't tell, right? But I think this game benefits a lot from telling instead of showing, actually. Because 
the notes do a good job of planting ideas in your head that aren't really there when you're walking around. Things like your name being whispered, and I think when the game shows you things like the bald monster urchin thing, it doesn't work quite as well as when it's just letting you imagine it through the notes and, and through, uh, I guess, secondhand information. So I thought that was kind of interesting. So that was Bunker 16. Does it hold up? I think so. I think that the more a game makes you rely on your imagination and things that you come up with yourself rather than what it outright shows you, the better it's going to age. What the game does show you has aged poorly, but the majority of the game is just you scaring yourself. And I think that any game like that is gonna stand the test of time a little better than a game that shows you everything from the same era. So those are my thoughts on Bunker 16. Uh, like I said, I did play the developer's other game, Like Clay, if you want to check that out. It was pretty good. There were some disappointing aspects to it, but uh, I also enjoyed that one. So if you're interested in that, I'll put a playlist link in the description to my four-part series on that game. Hope you've been enjoying the revisited playthroughs, and I think since it's been so popular and so requested in the comments, I'm going to actually start a irregular series called Still Scary. So even after this weekend, I'll be looking back from time to time at old games to see how they age and see if they're still scary. All right, I'll see you guys later. Think critically.